All right, guys, it is that season again where we have new iPhone. Th this is not a new iPhone. I'm still gonna get mine in the mail, so this is gonna take a bit. But before I get my new iPhone, there is something that I really need to do before I do that, which is back up my iPhone. So there are a few reasons why you wanna back up your iPhone, getting a new iPhone to replace the current ones. The second reason is that, let's say I'm doing an update, which I did last night, in case something go haywire, I can back up my phone completely. And this is one thing I do like about Apple is that if you are stuck in the ecosystem, they treat you pretty well in the sense that it's a seamless experience. I can go from an one iPhone to another. I started from iPhone 3S all the way to this one, which is the 17 Pro Max all this year. I'm still using the same backup ever since the first one. And I think that costs some minor bugs i can't tell no one from apple can ever tell me the answer to it but not a major issue but the thing is that i've been using the same backup ever since and it works it feels like a very seamless experience going from the first phone to the, this phone that i have and i'm sure the transfer from this phone to my next one will still be amazing but i'm running into a second issue now my computer like many other people do not have enough memory now there's one way to go around it is that you know you can maybe use a different like iCloud service or something to offload all the stuff you have on your phone into a hard drive in the cloud or something or like an external, you know, hard hardware just to dump all your photos, which is what most people have problem with. But that becomes two issues. Number one, not everyone have a lot of files because of just photos. Some people might have it because of text messages or notes or stuff like that, or just a bunch of other stuff that they can't just transfer from this to a hard drive. Another issue is that if you do that, you don't have a good way, and that is where the downside of Apple is that any photos you took from the photo album, you can't just put it back in into the photo album unless you download them all but i feel like that's a lot of problem you're gonna run into if you do that and you might lose a lot of data so and also like the live photos and everything that's become whole mess so the best way so far is still back up the phone and then transfer it and restore it to a new iphone whenever you you know go to a new, new phone from one to another or just you know if, if i crack this phone if i get this exact same one i can back up restore it feel exactly the same now as i was saying earlier my computer is out of memory. So the only way I can do it is that, and here's a trick that I'm gonna show you guys today, is that you can actually back up your iPhone instead of, you know, to the default folder in your computer, you can actually do it to an external hard drive. All you have to do is do a little coding. Now it needs a little command code and you can do that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. And also before I show you that, this is what I'm using today. This is the Kingston portable hard drive kind of thing. It is small, it is fast. This thing is 2000 megabytes read and write. So this thing is fast and it's pretty small here. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. This is the hard drive. It is like the size smaller than my palm. It is like the length of my fingers, my index finger. Yeah, about that size. It is pretty small. This thing is, is small. It's almost like a dump drive, just a little bit wider but this thing read write super fast as using usb-c but i'm going to show you guys right now how we can do that on a windows computer and how can i change it so that the computer will back up all your things from the phone into this so that's over here all right so now that we're on the computer side we just have to plug this in and your iphone in obviously they come in actually different size uh they come in 500 one terabyte two and four i believe and also in different color. The standard one is the silver one, but I might get the red one because it seems pretty cool. And the great thing about having a portable hard drive as well is that with the new iPhone, you can record raw format directly onto it. So if I wanted to, I can actually use this to plug into my iPhone using USB-C and also record directly into this hard drive. But today we're gonna focus on how to create backup and store them into here first. So all you have to do is like go to your computer, the first thing you're gonna do is that we're gonna locate where is the original files that you have in your computer if you already have done backup before. So all you have to do on the computer side is that press window R and type in app data and that will bring up your app data. And then from there, you can go to roaming and then go to Apple computer and then go to mobile sync. And you should have a folder in there called backup already and inside that folder, there should be more uh, different folder of different backups you have done 
previously, you know, for your iPhone, your iPad, or your iProduct, if you have them, you should cut this whole folder, cut and paste this whole folder into uh, your, you know, Kingston hard drive right now, the portable hard drive. If you don't, then uh, nothing in there, then you can just delete that completely, so it wouldn't be a problem. So now that the mobile sync folder is empty, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna create a link directly from the mobile sync folder into the Kingston hard drive, the portable hard drive. So your computer will think that whenever they put anything into the mobile sync folder, it will actually go to the Kingston hard drive. It's not more complicated than it really is, but it's gonna be very easy. Okay, next, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna press window R one more time. And this time we're gonna type in CMD for command and press okay. And this window should pop up, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're gonna link it from one folder to other. So the code that you wanna type in here is M-K-L-I-N-K -K slash J. So then what I'm gonna do is that find the original folder link here, right here, copy this. And then also at the end here, I wanna type backup. Backup, okay. And then press space and then get to the new folder right here. Let's say this is the new backup folder. It's gonna be an F drive. I'm gonna type this, press, type in quotation marks, that, oh. and then press enter. There you go. Now it's a junction created for this. So now when I back up anything from my iPhone, it will back up directly into my portable hard drive. So I'm gonna plug in my iPhone right now and then I'm gonna open up iTunes. So now that I'm in iTunes, uh, I plug in my iPhone, so it is already starting to back up the backup process. Right now, say my iPhone has never been backed up to this computer, at least for now, in this new hard drive. But once I put in the code for my phone, so the backup process will start, we're gonna see that this folder that was completely empty now has a folder in it. And this is still my Kingston hard drive, the F drive. So all my backup from my iTunes is now going directly into the Kingston hard drive. So that's a very good way for me to easily back up all my stuff from my iPhone into a portable hard drive, into this little guy, and then it's gonna start, have all your stuff in there. So when I get my new iPhone, I can restore all of them into the same new iPhone that has all the stuff in here. So it looks like it's exactly a copy and paste of the old iPhone with all the data, but also, you know, the newest phone. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. I wanted to make this video because I thought that was helpful for me. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, tell me what else you want me to show you. That's it for now. I have a shoot coming up, so I need to pack and starting to go. I'm so tired. All right, see you guys.